This is a presentation on calculating the business value of information technology. Calculating the business of information technology is important because of the high cost of implementation. In recent times, there have been a series of errors that have cost institutions great deals of money. For example, Gateway lost $140 million attempting an e-commerce business and Hershey lost $120 million in sales because of incompatible software. These common mistakes indicate a problem with the calculations instead of errors by individuals. It is important to improve the process as the potential of information technology is valuable. Therefore, we will be illustrating a new approach to calculating business value of IT in this presentation. We will begin by using data from VISTA, which is an electronic health information system used by the Veterans Administration. The Veterans Health Administration is the largest single medical system in the United States. VISTA is by extension one of the most widely used electronic record systems in the world, providing care to 4 million veterans, employing 180,000 medical personnel and operating 163 hospitals, over 800 clinics, and 135 nursing homes. The system debuted with the name VISTA in 1994, but the implementation of the technology actually dates back to the early 80s. Illustrated here is the data provided by the Department of Veterans Affairs. The information was provided on October 16, 2007. As you can see, the data provided stretches across a decade of fiscal years and includes the budget of the Office of Information, number of records in VISTA, and the Veterans Health Administration's cost per patient index. To better understand the data, we produced scatter diagrams that illustrate the correlation of the different sets of information. The stronger the relationship, the more significant the comparison. For example, one expects to see a strong relationship between IT cost and use. If IT investment has not led to more use, then the return on investment is insignificant. Illustrated here is the correlation of cost index and budget. The numbers were taken from the chart on the previous slide. The years shown eliminate some of the outliers to make the correlation stronger. Correlation is calculated on a 0 to 1 scale. The closer to 1, the higher the correlation. With a rate of 0.8249 indicated on the right side of the graph, you can see that the cost index and budget are closely related. Next we compare record numbers and cost index. The correlation here is moderate. At 0 0.4062, the number is about halfway between 0 and 1. The next comparison is to record numbers and budget. As illustrated by the graph, there is a correlation between the two. The calculation is 0 0.6073, which is closer to 1 than 0. Once correlation between the variables is found, you can find causation. In this example, we are going to determine if revenue leads to use and eventually investment, or if investment is the starting point that essentially results in revenue. The calculations illustrated here are used to determine this. The variables represent our different correlations. PCR represents the correlation between the cost of IT and revenues. PCU signifies correlation between the cost and use of IT, and PUR is the correlation between the use of IT and the revenue. You can plug in the already determined correlations. The closest to zero determines the causation. The results here illustrate that a reduction in cost per patient led to growth in the IT budget because the equation is much closer to zero. The method we illustrated here has a few limitations. To begin, the needed data are not always available. Retrieval of significant information can be difficult if the organization implementing electronic health records has not tracked their data thoroughly. Next, using three groups of data can be limiting. If there is more data available, it should be used in the analysis. One of the benefits lies in using the entire revenue stream of the organization because this eliminates the need to claim specific benefit or account for side effects. Finally, the correlations can illustrate where the attention should be focused.